Hello, this is Cheryl Wilson, abstract artist, and I wanted to show you how to make a color that I absolutely love, cornflower blue, and it can be slightly changed, so it's, you know, a darker cornflower blue, or it could be even called sky blue, but I love this color in my paintings. I use titanium white, either royal or ultramarine blue. And the demonstration, I show ultramarine blue from Golden. And you can see where I use it with different shades with a little bit more white in it in different paintings that I have done. And I love it. There's times when I add the ultramarine blue to the spaces where I've already used the cornflower blue. And they make, they look great together because they're components of each other. Here's a one where I added just a touch of turquoise to it, and it's equally beautiful. In this painting, I've used Golden's High Flow, where I've mixed the titanium white and the ultramarine blue as a very liquidy paint, as opposed to the thicker white um, paint to create this painting. So, Let's get started on mixing the paint and I'll walk you through it and um, then show you how I've added it to an actual painting. So the color Cornflower Blue and if it's uh, in its lighter shade, like a little lighter than that that I just put on my paper with the palette knife, a little bit more white in there, it could be like a sky blue for a landscape. But there is a certain, I don't know, look with this cornflower blue is what I call it, that I just absolutely love. So here is the ultramarine blue. You can hardly see the label on this and um, I always add the blue, dab, dab of the blue to the white as opposed to adding the white to the blue. Especially this ultramarine blue, the high flow, it's a very concentrated paint. So it's more, I would start with more white than I would the blue. And the different color blues out there will of course give it a slightly different uh, tent, of course, um, because of the properties that's in it. As you can see, the more, and this is just a very small example of mixing the paint, I would do it on a greater scale, but the more blue I add, the more what I call the cornflower blue color shows up. And what's so beautiful about this is when you're mixing colors together, that mixture, the cornflower blue, will look beautiful and you saw in my intro uh, duction uh, painting where I mixed the ultramarine blue and this mixed color together and they looked really beautiful together because when you take your paints and you mix them together the different tones uh, or the different colors that you get the variations they just magically all look good together because they have little pieces of each other's color in them. So I'm just playing with the blue. You could add some turquoise to this. You can just keep playing with it till you get to a blue color that you like. And again, I could have many variations of this blue. I could keep adding uh, a darker blue. I could, e I could keep adding... Uh, uh, a white back into it. I could add a little turquoise. I could add a little yellow. Um, it's totally up to you and they'll all look beautiful together. But I wanted to show this to you and then I'm going to actually use some of this paint on a floral painting that I've done because I like the floral painting but it just needed something, a, a pop. So I'm, I'm dripping in more of the blue each time to make it darker and darker and so there'll be slightly uh, different shades of this blue and when you look at a flower um, which is what I'm going to paint the 
a flower on top of a painting I already had, the, the petals have different variations. So you can see they're slightly different from each other, but it's going to be a blend enough of each other and that it's going to really complement the, the flower petals. So I'm going to bring up the painting that um, I wanted to work on. And I had some of the uh, blue already in this painting. And I wanted to bring the cornflower blue basically because I thought I needed a little bit of a lighter flower, a lighter petal, or maybe just because um, I just love the color and I wanted to add it. So you'll see me um, take that lighter color and just play with the petals. And I'm going to paint over the blue petals, or the blue flowers I already have in there, and then I'm going to add some to the bottom just to kind of give it like a balance. So I've just taken a brush and I'm just rolling it around. I'm going to let some of that other blue, uh, which is already the ultramarine blue, show through and um, just mix the, the, the new color on top, keep some of the one underneath to keep it interesting. But uh, I don't know, I just thought that it made the painting uh, more interesting to me by adding more of this color blue. And um, it's just a preference thing. You as the artist, you have the, um, the author rights, I guess you could say, as to what you want to add to your particular painting and how you want to change it up. I remember Georgia O'Keeffe, the story, I went to look at um, a... Uh, show that she had out in New Mexico and I was told by the um, lady showing us around that she would actually come into her art galleries where she had paintings showing and she would bring paint and brushes in and actually change a painting that's already up there for on display because she was the author of the painting she was the painter and that's what you are in your art. So if you want to add blue, if you want to add purple, you are the one that um, sees the vision in your art. So I'm just kind of cleaning up the bottom a little bit of some of the grays I had in there to bring the blue. So I bring the eye around the painting. Totally uh, an optional thing to do. But I hope you enjoyed um, learning how to make this blue. I've seen it out there. It's To me, it was hard to find. I know that there's probably a Liquitex or there's probably a brand that sells it. But why not learn how to mix your own colors and your own paints? And the beauty of it is another brand's color may have a slightly different tint. And it doesn't go as well with your other paints if you're mixing them yourself because they really do look absolutely stunning together the different colors when you start to mix them among each other so please give me a thumbs up tell me if there's another color you want me to mix and play with and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope that you give it a try yourself and show me some of the flowers that you've created on um, the facebook page <music>